Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So um, the boom bags have gone live for Hunters on Chain. Hunters on Chain um, has completed season one. There's another season two. Um, and as part of that season, it is this boom token airdrop. So the boom token using the game to level up your hero characters, your your hunters, I should say, sorry. Um, and also it's an ecosystem token that will be used for some other games that are uh, being released by the company Boomland. Um, so one of the interesting things here is the Boom token isn't actually live on the Mutable ZK EVM blockchain. So uh, in order to reward people uh, for season one, they've actually been given these Boom tokens in what they're calling Boom bags. So these are NFTs. So we can see here, there's different... Um, uh, each Boom bag contains a different amount of Boom, so a, a thousand up to uh, 100,000 but they're also timed so that, as you can see here is month one and month zero so these um, NFTs um, basically when the token the boom token goes live on the mutable if you have a month zero one you can you will be able to burn that NFT sort of destroy that NFT and get in this case a thousand boom token or 5,000 depending on what you've got if you have a month one you have to wait a month so as we would expect, the month one um, NFTs are cheaper than the month zero ones because obviously you have to wait a month extra. Um, so an extra month of uncertainty here. Um, now there is an, an odd. This is on Token Trove NFT site uh, marketplace. There are other um, marketplaces supporting Immutable. What's interesting here, you can see, is the. Um, Sequence goes 1,000, 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 50, 50, 100, 100. So the odd thing here is these 10,000 month one uh, boom bags are wrongly priced because these are actually cheaper than the 5,000 ones. Um, the reason seems to be is you can't actually buy these. So there seems to be some um, coding problem here. <laughs> um, maybe something wrong with a smart contract or something, I don't know. Um, but uh, I tr just tried to buy um, some of these 10,000 month ones because they're obviously mispriced. They're cheaper than the 5,000 ones, even though it's double the amount of boom. Uh, but you can't, for some reason, you can't buy them. So that's why there's this odd sequence going on here. Um, but if we go and have a quick uh, look, um, obviously, as I tend to do, I put all this in the spreadsheet. So we have the boom, the month, how much it costs, um, and then we can see the price of boom. So this is sort of giving us initially a um, you know, an idea for how much boom is going to cost when it goes live, or is what people think. So they're currently pricing it at 0 0.005 effectively. So half a cent um, is the price of boom if you're getting it for the month zero ones. And it's pretty all pretty consistent. Um, you know, there's a bit of variation, but not much. For the month one boom, that's obviously going to be cheaper. So that's 0 0.02. So, um, uh, two thousandth of a dollar um, and you can see here this is where there's sort of the odd the odd pricing is happening here where the the the, uh, the actually the 5,000 one is is, is um, priced too high um, but it's, you're taking an average of that so um, so that's sort of what's happening why people might want boom is obviously if you if you have the boom zero is you can sell it straight away when the token goes live I guess the other interesting thing here is um, if you want to use the boom token in the game, um, you can. It doesn't matter what month boom bag you burn, effectively. So you could. So basically, for people who are playing the game and want boom to upgrade their hunters, they would be better off buying the month one because that's cheaper. Um, actually, a sort of. Um, so the, the month zero boom is actually almost three times more expensive than the month one boom, if we do just divide 2.7 times. Um, but you can buy the month one bags and uh, you'll be able to burn those straight away and get the boom in the game. Obviously, when it's, in, when it's in the game, you can't go off and sell it. So the point of having this boom here is that you can sell it on um, on the exchanges or, or whatever market on the uh, AMMs um, when it goes live. I'm not quite sure when that is. Um, but I think sort of fairly soon. Um, but the, the the month one 
is still useful because you can get rid of you can burn it straight away if you need whatever how many thousand boom to level up your characters um your hunters in the game so that's what's going on there keep an eye on um how the, how this changes um obviously the price of everything is quite volatile at the moment um so uh, i imagine these these will uh, the prices will sort of um who knows which way they're going to go but um, probably be volatile as well um, and certainly until we get more information about when the when the tgi is happening and we can see actually people are buying these so um if you just wait for this so people are buying these boom bags um you know quite a variation of, of month one month ones people seem to be buying because they were sort of the cheaper ones and if you know you're going to use it in a game then that's sort of um you know good it seems like a good a bargain um has anyone sold any 100,000 ones? No, people generally going for their 1,000. Um, it looks like that's the most popular. Um, yeah, not seeing any any 50,000s either. So uh, people sort of keeping, uh, um, just being a bit cautious, I suppose, because stuff's so volatile. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. See you again soon.